Hello everyone and welcome back to KMLA, your daily news broadcast for the Detroit metropolitan area. Today we have a special guest, Scott Evans from Ford Motor. Hello Scott, it's great to have you here today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be able to talk about Mr. Ford and all he's done for the car industry and the American family. To start off Scott, the listeners and I would like to know, what is your position and responsibilities at Ford? I'm an assembly line supervisor. I manage assembly line making sure the line is running smoothly and that all the stations are running efficiently. The assembly line is the reason Ford can make so many cars in such a small amount of time. Speaking about the assembly line, how does one work? I'm glad you asked. It's quite simple. There are several stations, and each station has completed a certain part of the car. The line is constantly moving, with a new car in line after each part is finished. The first car we decided to build on the line was the Model T due to simplicity. The assembly line I manage can build an entire Model T in six hours. So the assembly line is the reason Ford can make the Model T so affordable? Exactly. We can put more out more cars while using less specialized labor, all while making the car affordable for the average American family. The build of this car is so simple, the maintenance of the Model T can be done by its owner. You heard it here, folks. Ford is working hard, so you don't have to. Thanks again, Scott, for being on the show. We'll be back again after the break with another special guest. Fine. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks, Gene. I'll be there. Two o'clock. Goodbye. You know, three weeks ago, I couldn't have accepted that invitation. Like so many people these days, we live in the suburbs, and Dave needs the car every day for business. When he was gone, I was practically a prisoner in my own home. I couldn't get out to see my friends, couldn't take part in PTA activities. I couldn't even shop when I wanted to. I had to wait till Thursday night after Dave brought the car home. But that's all changed now. Three weeks ago, we bought another Ford. The new, low-priced, custom-line Victoria. Isn't it stunning? Dave has it all to himself. And I now have the ranch wagon all to myself. It's a whole new way of life. Now I'm free to go anywhere, do anything, see anybody anytime I want to. It's only good common sense. Why be stuck with one expensive car when you can enjoy all the fun and freedom of two fine Fords? Today, more and more families are finding out how easy it is to become two Ford families. You can choose from 20 different models, colors galore, and each available with Thunderbird power, with styling inspired by the famous Ford Thunderbird, and each with the extra protection of Ford's lifeguard design. See your Ford dealer soon. Hello everyone and welcome back to KMLA, your news broadcast for the Detroit metropolitan area. I'd like to welcome special guest Henry Ford from Ford Motor for a personal interview. Welcome to the show, Mr. Ford. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm looking forward to answering the questions of my fellow Americans. First off, how's your family? Amazing. My wife's been helping me with the kids and the house while I'm working. And with the long hours, it's hard being a husband and a father. But my wife understands that and it's great knowing that I have a loving family. Speaking of family, you've been making cars for the American family for years. When did you decide to start a company that benefits every family? Well, my family and my life experiences helped me become interested in building affordable cars for everybody that needs them. You said family and life experiences. Could you further explain that? Of course. It all started back when I was a young man. I lived on a farm and days were tough cutting grass and cleaning the fields. So I became interested in the idea of building a farm locomotive that would help with farm work. I moved to Detroit where I learned the trade of being a mechanic, and after a few years I came back home and did exactly what I set out to do. That's amazing. So now about your career. How was it creating a first gas engine? I knew that to help the car go a longer distance, the car needed something that was more powerful than a steam engine to add more travel time. On Christmas Eve of 1893, I tested my first gas-powered engine in the kitchen sink with the help of my wife. It ran for a time of 30 seconds so I knew it was possible to make a longer lasting and more efficient engine. It took a lot of time and a lot of hard work, but it helped to create the engines of today. So it's safe to say that all that hard work paid off. You created your company Ford Motor soon after that, correct? Yeah, after a few test builds and creating the assembly line, my company started manufacturing cars that any family can afford. How do you think the assembly line will affect the automotive industry as a whole? I believe this will change the way cars are built by every car manufacturer in the future. The other car manufacturers 
will look at Ford's dominance over the American car market and want to mirror that. Ford has around 60% of the market, all because families of all statuses can afford our cars. That is great to hear. It seems that the assembly line has definitely revolutionized the car making industry. I think that's all the time we have here today. Thanks again, Mr. Ford, for stopping in. It's been my pleasure. This is KMLA signing off. Have a great rest of your day.